my hair just like is not vibing with me right now. It's just not vibing. I can't talk. Ah! Hello, cheers, and welcome to Tipsy Book Talks. I'm Taylor. And I'm Ran. And welcome to our Myth Taker July wrap up. So this wrap up is gonna be a little different, mainly because we didn't do a lot of reading. <laughs> but also because we have a few announcements to make. So this is gonna be kind of like a life chat. A life chat? A chat update? A life update. So our announcements aren't gonna be right now. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put them at the end of the video. So please stay tuned till the very end to hear what's going on because Taylor and I got kind of a lot coming up. So we wanna make sure that you guys are sticking around for it. But for this video, I'll be drinking a hot toddy like I was in the last video, but I um, found this amazing mug and I just wanted to share. And I thought, why not on this video? Cheers, everybody. So I was planning to make a blackberry mint julep, but unfortunately I did not have time to do it blackberries. And um, yeah, here we are. I'm again using what I had. It is just elderflower liquor and Prosecco. I normally have done this multiple times, calling it the champagne of gold with champagne. Um, I don't know the difference between champagne and Prosecco. Like, please don't come for me. Alcohol, book tube, alcohol tube. Either way, let's get into it. Cheers. So obviously in a wrap up video, let's start with a wrap up. I chose to go down the path of beauty for the myth taker path versus Pantheon. This is where it gets really funny. Of the five books that I had chosen, I had read none of them, which is fantastic. I'm so happy I went down this journey for myself. That's really what I needed. Um, but on the upside, I did read one book and that was Heartless. So the one book that I do have to wrap up technically is Heartless. Um, I would technically give that a 4.5 and I think I actually wrote that on my Goodreads. So good job, I stuck to that. But yes, I talked about it a lot in the vlog that I did, which went up like a week ago. So if you'd like to see what I had to say about it, go check it out there. Um, I don't really have much else to say. So sadly, and I had mentioned this in my previous vlog, uh, which actually didn't come out that long ago. In between filming that vlog and obviously this wrap up video coming out, there really wasn't that much time. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've been in kind of a reading slump. I do get a chance to read um, on my lunch breaks and whatnot, and I listen to audiobooks going to work and coming back, but because I have been working a full-time job, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., I get home and I don't really have a lot of time to do many things. Um, because I live with my girlfriend on our own, we have kind of a house to, you know, take care of. And she also works, um, well, she technically works 10 hours. So yeah, I get up with her. I don't leave with her. So I try to do stuff in the morning and I try to do stuff when I get home but still that doesn't really add in a lot of time for me to physically read because I had technically started four of my five books. And that's the thing is I was like, Georgia Peaches Forbidden Fruit. I thought I would like more. I actually talked about this with Taylor earlier um, and I still kind of want to finish it because it does seem like a cutesy love story, but it has a lot more religion in it than I thought it would. And that's where I'm like, mm, okay, like, this would have appealed to me more when I was younger, but She's Too Pretty to Burn has a mystery element that I actually really want to keep going down because it's pretty good. And I know that people have been raving about it and I feel really bad because I put this on my TBR for like five months now. <laughs> and every single time, that's not, that's a lie. That's an exaggeration. I put it on my TBR for like three months, I think, but Every single time I really have been trying to read it and it's just been so unsuccessful for me. And my last book that I had that I know I'm gonna get crap for from Taylor and Brooke and Jada because they have already, they're like on the third book of this series. So I said I was gonna start this so that I can actually like have said that I read this and I didn't even get a chance to get to it. Like there's no excuse. I didn't get a chance to get to it. 
as I had stated before, I would started a full-time job and my girlfriend works full-time and so when we get home, we don't really get a chance to hang out with our cats or clean up very much. Um, so we have to pick up here and there as much as we can and it's exhausting when you wake up at 5 a.m., get home by 5 a.m. or <laughs> It's exhausting when you wake up at 5 a.m. to get ready to help her get to work and then you get home by 5 p.m. and you have to be in bed by 8 p.m. So that really doesn't leave a lot of time because I do need to sleep and that is kind of more important than reading. And I hate to say it and I have become that adult and I really don't like it, but until I start making those big books, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, I'm pretty sure Rayanne did a lot better than me this month. Um, <laughs> I did the Greek Pantheon, which we have talked about in multiple videos before, mainly the TBR and my vlog, um, which both of them will be linked down below in the description if you'd like to watch them. But I only read two books this month, and one of them wasn't even for the readathon. I'm in a full blown reading slump, guys. Like, it is. It's here, it happened, I hate it. On the bright side, I have been rereading things in order to try to get myself out of it, but like, it's not helping. I'm just in a reading slump and I just hate my life. I hate not reading. It makes me so sad. I am rewatching New Girl. So the only book that I did read this month for the readathon was A Touch of Malice by Scarlett Sinclair. And if you guys did not watch my vlog, I basically only read this book during that vlog. And I had such a great time. Like, okay, in terms of me being in a reading slump, when I first picked this up, it was such an effort. And maybe like the first couple times, like I re-picked it up. Like, I think I went like four days in between reading like the first time I picked it up and like so on and so forth but after I got maybe into like chapter three I was hooked I loved it this is my favorite Scarlett Sinclair book to date I'm winded <laughs> it is my favorite the plot was amazing we already have characters that we were introduced to that the characters became so much more three-dimensional in this book um everything about this book was just so much better and it's hard for me to like go into it, especially because I know Rayanne's going to want to read it in the future and we are planning to do a video about it. A full extended book talk. It won't be for a while now, like don't expect it anytime soon. But I know we are going to want to do a full in-depth book talk on this, so I don't want to go too much into it. Um, but I just say if you haven't started this series yet, I highly recommended it. But it was amazing and I loved it and I cannot wait to uh, dive more into this series. And then the other book that I read this month, this is so sad. I don't remember the last time I've only read two books in a month um, and it was a reread. This is who I am. So I also re-listened to Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. It is the prequel to the Throne of Glass series and man, I just like, I've never, reread that book before. I've never reread it. I've never re-listened to it. It's always one that I skip over. And if you guys know me, you know that I have reread Throne of Glass so many times. Um, so this is my first time rereading it. So there was a lot that I did not remember and I really enjoyed it. I just like, I don't know. It was really, really cool to reread that and actually remember um, the kind of character dynamics um, that kind of take place before certain characters return. Trying to keep that non-spoilery. Um, but yeah, that was super interesting. I gave that book five stars when I first read it. I didn't rate it this time because I'd already read it before. I think if I were to rate it now, I'd probably give it like a, a four. It's not on that same level as any of the other books for me. Um, but it did prompt, which is actually really funny. I did reread uh, Queen of Shadows and I'm already on Empire of Storm. So I'm just basically rereading the Throne of Glass series right now but I did not track those or count them towards my reading goals because I have reread those books so many times and I just feel like it's kind of unfair. So yeah, that's all I read this month. Lord help me. But anyways, I guess now it's time for some life updates and announcements.
Okay, so I did talk about this in my last vlog where I mentioned that I am on a new writing schedule. And if you guys did not know, I am actually committed to writing a book now. Um, so I've had this idea for a book basically since my junior year of high school and I wrote the first five chapters and I have just come up with a bunch of ideas for it but never kept going. I just kept adding to my list of plot points or my outline but never actually writing the book. Um, so now I'm actually really committed to writing it. It is a fantasy novel. It's going to be like a full series but let's start with one. Um, but it is a fantasy novel and I'm currently calling it Project in the Dark. Um, I don't know why it just that's just what's happening but yeah I'm super super excited about it. I am planning to do it NaNoWriMo style so I'm going to be writing 1500 words a day for the next two months and here's for the announcement um because of that new writing schedule and how taxing it is going to be on me as well as Rayanne starting her new job and acclimating to being a full-time worker we have decided to take a two month break from Tipsy Book Talks, but do not worry. We're just taking off August and September and we are going to be back in October with personally my favorite videos, which are going to be our Halloween videos. Um, those are my favorite videos to film and all the two months is going to do for us is to basically give us some time to not only work a little bit on ourselves, but to fully brainstorm and plan out what is going to come next for us. So just because we're going to be going on a little break doesn't mean that we're going to be fully offline. I will still be on TikTok and Instagram scrolling endlessly. Um, but you know, I will always be able to talk to you guys if you reach out. But yes, we will still be posting stuff there. Tiny little life updates, but it just won't be a full length video on YouTube. Your guys' support means so much to us and I know that Rayan is on the same page as me of we're going to use the next few months to brainstorm and plan how to come back better than ever. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate and love you guys. I know we say this every single time, but we really do. Also, please like and subscribe this video and on top of that, please click on the little bell icon so that you can be notified when we make our grand return because... Taylor and I are both so excited for our Halloween videos. I I am seriously counting down the days already. And with that, cheers. See you guys in two months. Cheers, everybody. Bye.